everyone, this is Anna from All DIY Crafts, and I had a few questions on my Instagram on a certain stethoscope design on how you could uh, put the word into the stethoscope or name into the stethoscope, uh, the way it was shown on the, the Instagram photo, which I'll put at the end of this video. So first of all, what I did was I went to Etsy, um, and I clicked on stethoscope SVGs, and I uploaded the SVG part, and here it is. And when you, ask, when you upload something that has uh, quite a few designs in it, what I end up doing is I hit ungroup. This is the one I want. And then I'm going to go ahead and select these. And then I delete those. Those are still saved in your library, so you don't have to worry about losing them. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this to how I want it. And I'm going to make it bigger so that I can work with it. Okay, so now that we have it at the size that we like, there's a few things I'm going to need to change about this design. I really don't like the circle inside. I like it just to be a regular circle. So one of the things I'll do is I'll just go to Shapes, and I will go ahead and just cover the circle with another circle. Just enough to cover that. Okay, and I'm going to also make that black. Okay, and then I'm going to click Select All. I'm going to weld it. Okay, so now it, that part is done. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, um, just so I can see this design better, is I need to go ahead and slice part of the stethoscope out. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click Shapes. I'm going to hit the square. And I'm going to put the square right about here. Okay. And then I'm going to duplicate it when I have it to the size I want, and it was pretty much already at the size I wanted. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I think I'll keep it just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of these, and I'm going to click Weld. Okay, so now these are all together. I'm going to take this square that I saved that was about the same size. I'm going to make it just a smidge bigger so that I'm sure I want to move my new square up to the front. So I want to cover the other square completely. I'm going to click Select All, and now I'm going to click Slice. And so what's going to that should give me is a nice little spot here to work with and I'm going to just delete these right now so that I have a clean palette. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab my text box and I'm going to put my name in it. And as you can see the letters are separated. I can go ahead and go up here to letter spacing and place them together. Oops, clicking the wrong way. And then once they're at a spot that I like, I can now make it bigger, smaller. And the idea is to make it so that it kind of fits around the stethoscope and curve around it. So now that I have it in about the spot that I want it, I'm going to go up here to where it says curve. And depending on how you move this, it'll curve up or it'll curve down. Okay. And then I'm going to move, like rotate it just a smidge. And that's how you would do it. Now what you want to do is if I were to hit make it right now, you see where it moves the name and it's not in the same spot anymore. So I'm going to hit cancel. So at this point I'm going to hit select all and I'm going to hit attach. Now the reason I'm not hitting weld I'll show, show you in just a second. Um, so now that we've attached this, now I can go to make it. And you see now it'll cut it just where it is. Okay, so that's how that's why. Now the reason I didn't hit weld, I hit attach was let's say you're making something for a bunch of nurses or healthcare professionals, and <clears throat> same design, you just need to change the name. I can click on the design, click detach. And now once we've clicked detach, I can now just move the name. 
and let's say I need to make a name for someone named Maria. So we'll make this Maria. And we will go back here and we'll move it. And we will adjust the size as needed, the curve is needed so that we can make sure we get Maria just the way we like it. And so that'll give you a basic idea. I don't know if it would help if we, probably not, okay. Okay, so then once we do this, we're gonna click select all we will hit attach again that way it'll cut the way we want it to if we want to change the color since they're attached all we have to do is change it and it'll change to any color the whole design and if we hit make it it will click just the way we want it okay so that's basically how you're going to slice letters um, and curve letters and i hope this uh, tutorial was helpful to you i hope it was easy to follow if you need help with actually importing fonts, I can only help you with the Windows part. Let me know and I'll make a video um, on that also. This is Anna from All DIY Crafts. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.